Here we're going to start Windows Millennium Edition on the dual boot. We do, we're going to go down the and do with CD support. And we got that. We're going to do drive CD-ROM is drive E. We're going to go E. Now here is where we set up the hard drive. We want to do large disk support. Logical, so we'll cut one. This is what we have to do when we get the fixed disk on Windows. It's at 89%. We'll get, we'll wait. We'll come back in a minute. Now if we want to make the available size for us, we'll hit yes, we'll hit enter. It's verifying. It's going to take a while, we'll be right back. Here's where we start the setup. Here we had a scan disk and here are the results. There were no errors on the disk. We just go over to exit with the arrow key and click enter. It's setting up Windows. And here we go to set up Windows Millennium Edition. This is just telling you that there's an NT file system located. We, we can ignore it, just click continue. Click next. It's going to take about 40 minutes to install on here. Let's check, check in the directory. And we're just going to do typical. Or we can do custom. Let's do custom. I'm going to click this. All these. Okay. Like that. Multimedia. No, we don't need that. Multimedia. And that's, and then we need system tools. Like okay. Click next. Beginning to install files, copying files. We're at 28 minutes and we'll be right back when the installation is finished. But now it's restarting and said thank you to, for installing the Here's the Millennium boot screen. It's flashing, sorry about the flash. It's at a different frequency as my camera here. Got 18 minutes left. Set up. It has to do some hardware setup now. It's detecting for new hardware. We'll come back when it's finished. It's updating the driver database. Updating system settings.
We are in Windows. We booted into Windows. Here we go. All the programs. Everything. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Part 2 coming up next. Coming soon.